What does a crowd of 180 million people look like? Today, we're going to find out. Here are 15 of the largest crowds in human history. Number 15. Kumbh Mela As of 2020, the largest gathering in history goes to the monumental 2019 Kumbh Mela Festival. Held across the Indian city Prayagraj, this festival is celebrated every 12 years and represents spiritual cleansing of past sins. This festival is marked by its ritual dip in waters and is held in four riverbank pilgrimage sites. In 2019, over 120 million people took part in the 50-day celebration, making the Kumela Festival the world's largest human gathering. Number 14. Barack Obama Inauguration Barack Obama, the 44th President of the United States, not only made history as being the first African-American head of state, but his inauguration crowd also broke records. With around 1.8 million people cheering and expressing their love for the newly appointed president, the monumental gathering in 2009 became the United States' largest inauguration crowd up to date. Obama's re-election in 2013 comes in at second with just over 1 million, while Bill Clinton's 1993 election holds the third place with nearly 800,000 citizens. Number 13. Indian Workers' Strike 2016 in 2016, the world's largest workers' strike was held all across India, accumulating a jaw-dropping 180 million protesters. This day-long strike became an event that will be remembered for many years to come. Bankers, teachers, factory workers, and miners all stood side by side as they walked the streets of their native country with a loud message in their minds. Millions of workers closed down the city streets as they protested the prime minister's economic policies, high prices of products, and extreme poverty. Number 12. Rod Stewart, Copacabana Beach It's no secret that music unites people all over the world, with huge festivals and concert lineups. It doesn't come as a surprise that millions join to celebrate iconic songs and tunes. But what might shock most is that Rod Stewart holds the Guinness World Record for the largest free rock concert attendance. On New Year's Eve 1994, the UK singer performed at Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro which reportedly attracted over 4.2 million listeners. But maybe some were simply there for the firework display at midnight. Number 11. Anti-War Protests, 2003 In 2003, the world's largest protest was held in over 50 countries and 650 cities all over the globe. Now called the Anti-War, citizens all across the world expressed their objection to the imminent Iraq War and its invasion from the United States. On February 15th and 16th, nearly 30 million people joined to protest the invasion. And while many countries participated, Rome became the headliner. With nearly 3 million people on the streets, Italy's capital was listed in Guinness World Records as the largest anti-war rally in history. Number 10. Arba'in Pilgrimage one important event that is celebrated in the Shia Muslim cultures is the annual public gathering of Arba'in pilgrimage, held in Karbala, Iraq. This religious ritual commemorated the end of the 40-day mourning period of Imam Hussein, or as most know him as Prophet Muhammad's grandson. The number of pilgrims increases every year, and in 2016, a record 25 million people was made. During this month-long period of mourning, Iraq's cities, towns, and villages are all emptied out to aid and organize the roads ahead of the walk. During one of the most populated religious walks, flags of four different colors can be seen. Black, green, red, and white flags dominate all across the roads, while black flags still remain by far the most common, as it represents the mourning of Imam Hussein. Food, water, and transport were readily available for the participants all over the city. The pilgrimage is made of long walks across three cities, and people from all different walks of life participate in the spiritual ritual and mourning. Number 9. Tour de France Everyone has heard of Tour de France at least once in their life. This annual bicycle race that predominantly takes place in France has been followed by people for more than a century. Dating back to 1903, this three-week-long prestigious bicycle race comprises 20 professional teams of nine riders, all aiming to finish first in the 2,235-mile or 3,600-kilometer long race. As one of the world's most prestigious sporting events, it comes as no surprise that millions of people all over Europe want to participate and be part of history. In 2012, over 12 million people attended the Week 3 of Tour de France, making it the largest attendance for a sporting event in history. This infamous bicycle race is held not only in France, but sometimes it makes its way down to Belgium, Italy, Germany, and Spain as well. 
Its European domination makes it easier for citizens of different backgrounds to join in and stand roadside in support of the athletes. In videos posted yearly of the monumental race, people are seen cheering and encouraging the sportsmen as they make their marks down to the finish line. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 8. Olympic Games, 1996 Coming close to the Tour de France is another sport-dominated event that takes place every four years in cities all across the globe. The Olympic Games originated in ancient Greece and is a celebration of athletic excellence in all fields of sport and physical activity. With over 200 nations participating, the Games are considered to be the world's foremost sports competition, and it's appropriate that the crowd's size complements the magnitude of the events. While millions have traveled from all walks of life to bear witness to the extraordinary gold, silver, and bronze medalists, one particular Olympic Games stood out in all its glory and made history in 1996. Held in Atlanta, Georgia, the so-called Centennial Olympics sold a jaw-dropping 8.3 million tickets in just a few weeks. I declare open the Games of Atlanta. You may be wondering why were the 1996 Olympics so special that over 8 million people wanted to attend it? And the answer is Michael Johnson. This world-famous sprinter made history and became the first man ever in the history of the Olympic Games to run and win both the 200-meter and 400-meter race. Not only did he become the first man to do so, but his 200-meter run also established a new record with just 19.32 seconds to the finish line. To this day, many remember the loud cheers and cries when Michael passed first on the finish line, dominating the tracks all by himself. So now we see why the 1996 Olympic Games were truly remarkable and one that will be remembered as simply record-breaking. Number 7. C.N. Anadurai Funeral While many people pay respects to the departed, one funeral made headlines all across the globe, and it even made its way into the Guinness World Records. In February of 1969, India's beloved politician and writer Kanjivaram Natarajan, or C.N. Anadurai, passed away from oral cancer. Fifteen million people gathered to mourn and pay respects to their idol and their homage broke the record for the largest funeral in history. Millions made their way to Madras, the capital city of the Indian state Tamil Nadu, where C.N. Anadurai was once the chief minister. Three special trains ferried thousands across the country, and with overwhelming attendance, many visitors were left on the streets. Most hotels were overbooked or closed, and some mourners even spent days famished, without any ounce of food at their will. As prices of simple products like bananas doubled in value, people of Madras were simply left with a mess on their hands. While some might recall this day as a celebration of the politician's life and accomplishments, many citizens will say otherwise. After millions of people deported back to their hometowns, the city of Madras was left in mounds of garbage and dirt. Imagine the grandiose amount of trash that must have been left out on a single day from over 15 million visitors. Number 6. 2017 Women's March in 2017, women all across the United States joined forces to support gender equality and civil rights, while also protesting President Donald Trump's inauguration and presidency. Women of all ages walked side by side in major U.S. cities such as Washington, D.C., New York City, Los Angeles, and Chicago, while also creating sister marches all across the world. Estimated to have over 5.6 million protesters, these marches include many familiar faces and celebrities who use their platforms to shine light on a bigger issues. The revolution starts here. Actresses, performers, musicians, and influencers took to the stages and podiums to voice their concern about the current state of the country and how hate had dominated love and respect. The protest originated from the current president's sexist remarks that were released to the public in late 2016. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. The march is widely known as an anti-Trump protest, and while the main focus was on women empowerment, many signs and protesters displayed the hatred towards the sexist president of the United States. Some also consider the successful march to be a call for social change, demanding equal pay and equal rights across the nation. Supporters also voiced their concern on LGBTQ plus rights, discrimination, racism, sex, and inequality in general. This 2017 Women's March is now regarded as the most famous women's march in history, with the largest crowd turnout in history. Number five. Chicago Cubs Parade 2016 After a stagnant 108 years without a reason to celebrate, the Chicago Cubs finally won the World Series in 2016. This World Series championship was particularly anticipated, 
as both teams had long streaks without any wins. After seven games and built-up energy and patience, the Chicago Cubs finally got their monumental win and victory, which resulted in a statewide celebration. A little over five million fans and supporters gathered outside Wrigley Field to take in the victory in all its glory. Now, this celebration is cited as the seventh largest celebratory parade in the world, making it one of the largest human gatherings in history as well. Dubbed Cubstick 2016, the massive crowd showed their loyalty and dedication to their state baseball team that awaited its win for over a century. This has been, I mean, my whole life waiting for this moment. The city collectively took a day off from work and walked in pride as they held back tears from the monumental event. Even the players joined in on the celebration and walked amongst the dedicated fans and supporters who had been cheering them on before. Many believe that the 108-year-long wait was worth it, after seeing how millions of strangers came together to celebrate and party the same victory. Number 4. Pope Francis in the Philippines Over 6 million people of Manila, the capital of the Philippines, gathered around to hear Pope Francis' Mass, making it one of the largest air mass gatherings in history. In 2015, Pope Francis embarked on his two-nation tour, which was aimed at adding momentum to the growing Catholic religion in Asia. From his trip to Sri Lanka, he flew to Manila, where he spent the last five days of his tour. With over 80 million Catholics in the Philippines, the Pope was met with open arms and warmth all around the nation. The heavy rain and increased security measures on the day of the Mass could not stop the six million supporters who came and heard the Mass live and saw the Pope live in person. On the final day of his two-nation tour, Pope Francis led the Mass by dedicating the service to the victims of Typhoon Haiyan, a tropical storm that devastated the country in 2013 and caused over 6,000 deaths in just eight days. The electrifying atmosphere dominated the Mass by enormous enthusiasm and love for the Pope, whose main goal was to focus on helping others, loving each other, and protecting the environment. But this 2015 visit wasn't the only time a Pope graced the Philippines. In 1995, Pope John Paul II was the first to hold a live Mass in the capital of Manila. And just like the most recent event, over 5 million people gathered for the papal service. This event is now called the World Youth Day 1995 and is coincidentally up next on the list. Number 3. World Youth Day 1995 As mentioned before, Pope John Paul II attended the Catholic Youth Festival in 1995 that is now remembered as the World Youth Day 1995. This five-day-long festival was held in Manila, the capital of the Philippines, and had over five million people in attendance. The Philippines was the first Asian country to host the World Youth Day and was held from January 10th to the 15th. Many young pilgrims from many different parts of the world gathered to celebrate the Catholic religion and get a glimpse of Pope John Paul II in action. Before the main mass that held a then-record-breaking amount of attendees, a few similar masses were held all across the country. The closing Mass, which was held on January 15th, made worldwide headlines by the number of participants who joined the World Youth Day, celebrating it along with the Pope. Five million people stood at Lunetta Park, and while the papal gathering was nothing but peaceful and full of love, there was a controversy that became truly worrisome. Ramzi Youssef, a renowned Pakistani terrorist, had a master plan that would ultimately kill Pope John Paul II, known as the Bojinka Plot. The main goal was to assassinate the Pope during his visit to the Philippines and to plant bombs inside several United and Delta airline flights out of Bangkok. Fortunately, the master plan was uncovered four days before the Pope's official visit, and Youssef soon fled to Pakistan. Number 2. World Pride in New York City New York City is one of the world's capitals of acceptance and pride. As one of the most eccentric and electrifying cities on the globe, the streets of the Big Apple are always filled with people of all ages, races, different backgrounds, and sexual orientations. And in June 2019, New York City made it into the Guinness World Records as the world's largest pride parade. With nearly 5 million people on the streets of Manhattan, members of the LGBTQ community celebrated in dignity and joy as their pride dominated every corner of the megapolis. Known as the Stonewall 50 World Pride in New York City, these series of Pride events marked the 50th anniversary of the 1969 Stonewall Riots that protested against police brutality against members of the LGBTQ community. The second largest Pride Parade was also held in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This 2014 event at the time became the biggest Pride Parade in history, with over 4 million attendees. The first parade was held in 1997, with just 2,000 participants, and the number of marchers has only been increasing ever since. The annual parade is 2.6 miles or 4.2 kilometers long 
and last around 12 hours starting from noon. Number 1. Queen Elizabeth II Coronation Queen Elizabeth II has been the monarch of the United Kingdom for more than 65 years. As the longest reigning monarch in the UK's history, Queen Elizabeth is no stranger to large crowds and gatherings, all in support of her ruling and dedication to her nation. But the largest attendance revolving around the Queen was during her coronation day in 1953. On June 2nd, over 3 million Brits stood on the streets of London to celebrate this monumental coronation of the second Elizabeth monarch in the nation's history. Over 10 million people tuned in from their homes and witnessed the celebration. BBC television provided coverage of the event from the cameras which were installed inside Westminster Abbey, making history by showing the coronation service for the first time. This coverage was broadcast around the world, and it was estimated that over 85 million people in the United States watched the highlights, while Germany provided 11 hours of thorough coverage on the coronation. This day not only marked the first day of Queen Elizabeth on the legendary throne, but it also showcased how the Queen and the rest of the monarchy were ready to modernize along with the rest of the world, making progress in the right direction. Now, over 65 years later, the Queen is no stranger to television broadcasts, and her annual Christmas speeches are watched by millions of royal supporters all over the United Kingdom. And so I wish you all a very happy Christmas. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.